<sighs> Finally, I'm in the big city. Ah, oh, it took me forever to get here. I was running out of food there for a bit. Huh, this place seems lively. Kids swimming in the fa- Hey, you're too old to be in there! Get out of there! Eh, whatever. Merchants all over the place, supposedly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Hi, hello there, sir. I wish to do commerce with you. Wait, what? 26 pieces of paper for just one emerald? Do you know how hard those reeds are to find? Uh, okay, let's try some someone else. Ten... Uh, three emeralds for a pair of leather pants. You're kidding, right? This town is full of cheap skates. I'm getting out of here. Scams! Scams everywhere! You'll pay. You will... All pay. Hey there guys, it's me, RPG Grenade, once again, coming to you with another Minecraft video. Yeah, this, I haven't made many of those in a while. However, this time around, I'm not showing off anything interesting like this world or anything. This is, this is not an adventure map or anything, although this would be very good for one. No, 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 I just found this randomly online somewhere, and I really like this presentation. Filled with, filled with villagers, and um, yeah, I'm going to show you something I've been working on. So lately there's been these things, these uh, single command block uh, mods, vanilla mods, whatever the hell you want to call them, and uh, I have been working on them myself. So the idea is that you just paste one single command into a command block and you can get a whole mod to work with it. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? Well, uh, yeah. It doesn't per work perfectly. In fact, one of them just doesn't seem to work want to work at all for me for some stupid reason. But uh, most of them seem to work just fine. It, I guess it just depends on the speed of the computer. It, it can ch vary wildly depending on what speed your computer is capable of handling. But yeah, I guess now is just the time to show off what the mod is exactly. And see what we're going to be doing to these villagers. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is, well, a command block. So the f way to get a command block is pretty simple. You just go to the command menu, go give, tab, tab again, C-O-M, press tab one more time, and you get yourself a command block. And you're also going to need one redstone block just to activate it. So I want you to place down your command block. doesn't really matter what you place it on. I just place it on a barrier because it's up in the sky and it's prettier that way. And I want you to paste in a specific command that I'm probably going to be putting in the, in the comments or the description somewhere, someplace, I don't know where. And I want you to activate it by placing the redstone block to the side or on top of it. Then just get rid of it. See as it gets constructed. Ooh, pretty. And uh, things should be created. Right. This is just the general mod. Please place the mods you want. A census mod by me. So basically this is the starter mob mod basically it's kind of like introducing several different programs to be able to use one big program because I could not fit the entire mod into just one big thing because it just wouldn't work unfortunately in fact it barely works with the several different kinds that I currently have anyways so uh as it states pretty much you have to make another couple of adjustments here so okay I think I've managed to do it quite well the idea is to space them between each other with like at least three spaces so that it can get the command block the barrier block and another command block so that it just doesn't you know kill each other well let's hope this works actually because I haven't tested it yet but the idea is that they're separated by three blocks each before placing them uh, the original one would go right around here obviously and now I'm going to show you one of the different assassins mod. Why the hell did they? Okay, never mind. Let's just ignore that for a moment. Uh, right. So I'm going to paste in the command for one of the mods that I got here, which is an archer mod. So this is an interesting one. I thought of it one day. Well, actually, huh. 
the story here is I have on my server an Assassin's Guild thing. Oh, and it's being constructed, of course. Uh, and I had a bunch of these classes that I wanted to add. And so, well, it's not perfect, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, it, that still works. And uh, yeah, so what I decided to make mods based off of the classes that I had in my Assassin's Guild, which you would hire someone and they would wear specific clothing and specific types of clothing and shit so that you could kill off a person that someone else paid you to kill and you get diamonds for it. That was the idea. But when I saw the ninja mod originally by JP Dude 98 I just thought, man, I really wish I could make that sort of thing. And then I just did. So this is the archer mod. Let's show it off. Okay. Ugh. So the primary thing, get on my face. The primary thing about this mod is that it is pretty much based off of exactly what JP Dude 98 did with his How to Be a Ninja mod. So basically what you want to do to start off with is get yourself a set of leather armor and then a set of certain potions. For the archer one in particular I decided to go with night vision potions. So the idea is that you just drop it down and drop the other one. Oh, it made me a leather help. A leather helmet called the Hunter's Goggles. Now what do they do? Unless you see no matter the darkness. You put them on, you have night vision. Uh, infinite night vision. Doesn't matter what time it is. Time sets 1400. Ooh. Oh, yep. Night vision. There we go. Set, just set that back to day before monsters spawn. Okay, good. Um, same goes for the other armor. You just drop them. Oop, leather tunic. What does it do? It's lightweight but protects you from the elements. It gives you slight resistance. So you have a little bit of ability to, to, to resist attacks. And we have the Hunter's Pants. You can jump great heights to treetops. This gives you an insane amount of jump boost. And I mean insane. Let me look at that. Woo! And finally we have the Leather Boots, which will turn into the Hunter's Boots. You run swiftly through the grass. Yeah, the idea with this one is that you are going to be using this primarily to hide in things like trees and such so that you can uh, snipe people from very far away. But that's not all. You don't just get the armor. You also get a few weapons. Oh, and if you happen to be wearing all of the armor of a particular set, you will get a special little effect surrounding you indicating that you are that set in its entirety, as well as an extra, an extra special effect, uh, which in the archer's case makes you invulnerable to poison. A little bit of poison, game of zero, and splash. Yep, nothing. No poison. Alright, so back to game mode, zero, game mode 1 here. And I'll show you the weapons. So every mod on this pack has two weapons. A primary weapon and a secondary weapon. And you need to get a specific item, two specific items for each one. So for the primary weapon, this is going to be a bow. Yeah, this gets a little bit glitchy, so let's just see what happens. You put the toss down a bow and an eye of ender. And, yep, the glitch happens. Okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes it, it accidentally just spawns two or three e bows. But the idea is it's called the Eagle Scope Bow. It sits you still for amazing vision. So basically, the instant you pull it out, you are forced to sit still, but you get a little zoom effect. Yeah, got him. It's very useful. Unfortunately, it doesn't wear off in immediately, so you got to you know, be prepared to put it away whenever you need it. So the other one is the magic arrow. You toss down an arrow and some gl glowstone dust and you get yourself the magic arrow and an extra arrow just because the idea of this one is that you drop this to have it explode in someone's face. Yep, only really destroys entities here because I made sure the mob griefing was off, but still. <laughs> he just went flying. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, the idea of this is that if someone were to, say, catch you in the... Ooh, trees. Let's go to the trees. That's exactly where this guy is strongest. The idea is that you're supposed to climb up onto treetops and shit like this. And you... Oh, also, I forgot to mention, when you get the eagle bow, you become invisible just so they can't really see your skin. Woo! Ooh, man, I almost got those two. Hmm, let's snipe one of them. Uh, oops, I got the wrong one. Oh, well. Yeah, the zoom effect kind of distorts your ability to know exactly where you're shooting if you're too used to shooting. But 
this explosive arrow is very useful if you happen to get caught by your target, for example. Uh, if this were played on a server, if you wanted to run away, you just had to go like, Oh no, I don't want this! And just explode them in the face and then start shooting them. Which you can jump while shooting, by the way. That does help. So, there's a strategy for you. I don't understand why they do that. Okay, uh... What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, oh yeah, a little thing I discovered when playing around with this is that if you drop the magic arrow when you, after you jump, whoop, it counts as sort of a rocket boost, so you can jump just a little bit higher, oh, or a little bit farther rather. So you can just sort of go whoop, uh, ah, and you just go way the hell farther. So that's that. That's the archer mod in a nutshell. Wee. Okay, next up here. Wow, that goes way straight up to the sky, doesn't it? All right, next one is the tanker mod. I wasn't really sure what to call this because it, I guess you could say it's like the heavy class. I don't know. Basically, you're just a tank, and the tanker mod. Well, you're about to see. It's pretty much what it sounds like. You become a. Oh God, that frame rate drop. Oh ah oh, God. Now that the frame rate's back to normal. I can show you that the next one uses drink potions. Of course, all the potions that I'm using are all with the three minute regular potions. So none of those eight minute ones or the strength two potions. No, it has to be regular potions, normal length. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you just do the exact same thing as before. Just drop a bunch of leather armor with the potions and they will start forming. There's supposed to be a particle effect, but like I mentioned before, there's glitches with this thing and it doesn't always work perfectly. Uh, so we have the Troll Scout, gives you extra life to absorb more hits. The Ogre's Vest protects you against all attacks deflecting the most damage. Heavy Padding, these slow you down but give your attack some oomph. And Heavy Boots, you can't be moved while wearing these heavy things. So let's just put all this shit on. Yeah! Alright. Ugh. Ugh. I am powerful. Ooh, I'm also really slow and sluggish. I mean, Jesus, I mean, and look at the little particle effects. I really, really love this little effect here. It really looks cool. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, my life went up by three hearts. That's the effect of the hat. You take the hat off, it goes away. Put the hat back on, you have it back. So the Ogre's Vest gives you resistance three. The heavy boots make you slower. No, actually, no, these don't make you slower. The pants make you slower, and they make you stronger at the same time. Uh, you're the... Oh yeah, and, and these, these boots, these fucking boots, they make sure you can't jump over block high things. Look. Ugh. Oop. Oh, shit. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Cancel. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know you could do that. Well, now I know. You just, you, you can't, you can't do anything. You really, really, really can't. So you, you would have to take off the boots in order to jump over these block high things. See, you just worked. So you put them back on. No longer works. Gah. It's interesting. However, with the big thing about these boots is, even if I were to get blown up, shot at, this like just absolutely m mauled, I would be able to just walk through it no problem. In fact, in fact, in fact, I'm gonna test this shit. Uh, you, you also can't fall from high places because apparently you're way heavier and it just hurts the shit out of it. Oh wait, no, I'm looking for a specific thing. Give me some TNT. It 20. There we go. Well, this is not going to end well. Let's see what happens. Oh! Wow, that barely hurt me at all. That didn't really show off the effect of the boots, but that sure as hell showed off the effect of the tank's ability to survive. Jesus. Uh, okay, well, I guess I don't really have anything to show off that sort of thing because there aren't really many mobs that can push you around, but say if someone has a knockback sword on them, it's not going to do jack shit. That's the whole point of this thing. Alright, so showing off the weapons now. Let's see if I can get them out here real quick. Alright, so you're going to need an axe, some prismarine crystals, some melon seeds, and a slime ball. These will make the primary and secondary weapons. So first the axe. Oh, there we go. Got a Skull Cleaver Axe. What this does is what it sounds like. It just destroys things. Wait a minute. 
Right, 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 right. There was a problem with one of the command blocks. So now I can actually show it off. What happens when is when you pull it out, you become much, much slower, but much, 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 much stronger. Watch this. Yeah. I'm just going to get a little spawn villager thing just to... There we go. Just... Yeah. <laughs> right. So the secondary weapon that this guy has is to complement his own slowness. What you have are sticky pebbles. Drop to make an enemy stand still. And by stand still, I mean stand the fuck still. I mean, if I were to use it on myself, watch what happens. I can't move. I can jump barely, but that's only because my of my boots, which specify a height I can jump at. Oh god, that lasts forever. But if I drop it on someone else, uh, they they can't move. Well, the oh god, I fucking hate these things. All right, I'm going to have to do something drastic. Summon the creeper. He can't move. He's trying to get me. Can't touch me. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Oh, well, until now. Okay, there. Then he dies. Yay! That's the tank mod in a nutshell. You become super slow, super tanky, and super powerful, and god, there's not enough villagers here. Uh, well. Alright, on to the next mod. Next up, we have the Paladin mod. This is to offset the tank mod that we just saw. This guy is going to be extremely fast, extremely quick, but pretty weak. That's kind of the, you know, the trade-off. All these have to have some sort of trade-off, right? All right, so let's get started. It starts the same as usual. Leather cap, but use a swiftness potion this time, and you get a uh, chain helmet. Don't, don't ask. That's just because it looks better. You get this. The pants. The shoes. Just like before. And we have these things. The priest helm grants you resistance against the holy fire. We'll get to that in a moment. It gives you fire resistance, basically. Nice plate. Simple, but would help you sustain more hits. Gives you a little bit more resistance than the archer, for example. The fencer's legs. Your jump becomes slightly bigger for a better strategy. It just gives you a mild jump boost. And the paladin's footwear. Your footwork becomes impeccably quick. You become fast as fuck. Oh, and yeah, you 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 become f fabulous. Wee, wee. You you run really fast, and you can run over one and a half block jumps. It's freaking awesome that you can do this shit. So this is more for the people who like to strategize with speed and have an emphasis on that sort of thing. Like me. I tend to like this sort of thing when, when it comes to speed and all that shit. So if you're that kind of person who prefers speed over power, then this is the mod for you. Okay, there we go. So let's get on to the items. There's not really much else you can show off here except for, you know, the sparkly sparklies. Uh, to make the paladin's weapon, you're going to need a golden sword and a blaze rod. And to get, you get the shield piercer sword. It doesn't actually pierce shields or anything. It's just a regular sword, except as in Breaking 5. And speed is granted for sacrifice strength. You get weakness 3 on this thing, so killing is going to be a lot harder to do. But you can just, like, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. Just... Just go crazy on the hit and run. Seriously, this is taking forever to kill. <laughs> yeah, you just make them suffer basically just by going. Huh. And. Huh. And. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Click spamming. Oh. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And you basically just do that. It's not very powerful at all. In fact, I think against maybe if you were against a tank, you probably wouldn't survive. <laughs> but, you know, shit happens. Uh, next is one of my favorites. I don't know how well this works, but we're going to have to give it a shot anyways. This is the Holy Fire. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man, that was unexpected. Um, yeah. So, the Holy Fire. You drop to rain fire on your enemies. It doesn't quite do that unless... 
game rule. Mockrefunk true. All right, now let's get this show started. So to do this one, you just just to show off the helmet, drop it on an enemy, and watch him burn like a paladin, like a priest. And you just walk through the fire, and it's not a big deal. Just go wee, and then jump in the water. Doesn't make a difference. So. This is a really cool one. It took me forever to figure out how to fucking do. And it doesn't matter. You don't need to be under the sky or anything. You can do it indoors or under a roof. It doesn't really matter. Watch, I'll show you. You'd be right underneath this bedrock here, and it'll do the same thing. Yep. Still sets everything on fire. <laughs> so, you can clearly see how this can be useful. I mean, look at that shit. And you can just kill him off. Yes. <laughs> you can never catch me. I really love the effects. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> it's awesome. I, I, I don't know if this still works. I'm going to check something real quick. Yep, it still works. You can rain down a holy meteor on top of your fucking enemies. You just have to be really, really high up. For some reason, it just does this. Look at that! That's terrifying! It doesn't make much of an explosion, but god damn if it isn't terrifying. You just drop it from higher up and it just does that. The higher up you are, the better. So you just... Yeah! Well, maybe not like that. But you drop it from up here and... Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. Huh. Well, anyways, on to the next mod. <laughs> Yay! And this is the mod that inspired it all. It's basically a recreation of the Ninja Mod with a few tweaks. The How to Be a Ninja Mod by JP Dude 98 A few things changed here and there. Nothing too drastic. For the most part, it's pretty much the same except for the naming of a couple things. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, here we go. We have the leather cap. That, oh boy. That is a lag spike if I've ever seen one. The kind of lag... What the hell? Alright, gotta stop for a moment. Alright, now that that's over for now. Uh, let's just get on to making the armor for this guy. Yeah, just do that. And drop some more. And just go boop. And you make some ninja... Souls, the ninja lower gi, the upper gi, and the ninja mask. It's pretty much the same as the mod. If you've seen it before, you know what it is. You run through the darkness with this one, you get speed. You jump onto rooftops with this one, you get jump boost. You get a little bit of strength boost if you wear the upper gi. And the ninja mask makes you immune to smoke. So you also get this little effect which kind of takes away your position at the, during the day. Oh my god, the lag is awful. What the hell is over there? Well, during the day, it's not a very practical thing, even though you are invisible. However, during the night... There we go. Now, during the night, you are much harder to detect in the... Oh my god, the lag is real. Okay, why is my game lagging so much? This doesn't happen normally. Maybe it's the mod. You perhaps aren't inconspicuous, but you can't hide in dark spots and stuff like that. It's a very interesting thing to do. However, it's very, very satisfying to use the rooftops while wearing this get while wearing this stuff. Oh god, everyone's panicking. <laughs> Better set it back today. There, calm down, everyone. It's all over. The night's over. Don't worry. Don't worry. Calm down. Calm your tits. Calm your tits. All right. So now to show off the weapons, if the Freaking lag will just die down. Alright, so the primary weapon is a kunai. You drop some flint and some nether quartz, and you get the kunai. This is different from the original ninja mod, so this is my own little twist. I didn't feel the shuriken fit with my sessions of the mod. Oh god. 
Sorry, I gotta, I gotta relog. Okay, so it seems I just had to get out of the area for a little bit. I'm not quite sure what was happening. Possibly a memory leak or some of some sort. I have no idea. But yes, I'm gonna demonstrate the power of the kunai. Two hits on a villager, and they're dead. I can confirm this also works for creepers in the exact same way, and it works similar for a lot of other mobs. This is a very powerful weapon, surprisingly. It's like sharpness 10, was it? Something? It's very powerful. For flint, that is. And to, to make the standard smoke bomb, which was before, I changed the icon to be a firework charge instead. Drop it on the ground to blind and slow your target, just like before. You drop it. I'll demonstrate it without my helmet. You just drop it. And everyone goes blind, and they're slower, and it's a big mess, and you just, oh god, what I do? And you put this back on, and everything's hunky-dory all over again. Yay! Yeah, it makes you immune to the whole thing, basically. Do-do-do-do-do-do, this better work. Do-do-do-do-do-do, but I'm not counting on it. <sighs> just as I thought, it's not quite working, which sucks, but I can show it off someplace where it does work, thankfully. I don't know why it's not working exactly, it's probably something I've done wrong, and I'll try to get that fixed before I upload this video. So, yeah. This one's slightly different in that you use a wither skull instead of a helmet in order to get the helmet part. Just drop it with a potion of harming, a regular potion of harming, no splash on it. And you get a special wither skull, the skull of the damned. Uh, then we're just gonna quickly make the rest of these here. Oop, almost fucked that up. There we go. We get the rest of it. The steps of death. All poisons flow through you to the ground. The cloak of sticks. You no longer have the need to breathe. That uh, basically just gives you water breathing. And this one gives you resistance to potion. I mean, po poison. Po potions. Reaper's Cloak. You can take more damage than humanly possible. I'll show you what that means in a second. And the Skull of the Damned. You will never be sickened by blood and gore. I will also show you what that means in a second. I am evil. <laughs> Alright, so... The next thing I wanted to show you... Oh, right, right. Show you what it is it means by more life than humanly possible. Look at my life bar. That's right, 20 hearts are given to the Lich class if you happen to wear all of his stuff. Uh, am I emanating the particles that I should be emanating? Apparently not. Let's see if I, it works better if I get closer. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with this one. I am not entirely sure why. This is the one I was most proud of, and for some reason it's just not working. Huh. Oh well. Might as well show you the other things he has. So you use... No, it's not going to work, but I can at least show you how it's crafted. So you drop an iron hoe and a nether wart, and you get yourself a soul reaper scythe. It's not going to work here. Normally, it'd do something special when you hit someone, but it doesn't work for some reason. It's annoying. And the other one is if you drop a spider eye and a poisonous potato. You yeah. Hopefully this time it doesn't fuck up. There we go. There we go. He got me. He gave me three. Unfortunately, that's not what I wanted. But fuck it. At this point, uh, irritating. Now then, what the nauseating heart does? I'm assuming it still works. Is it does this? Oh boy. Yep. Still does its thing. Hell. Ah. Uh, hmm. This is a class that is meant to weaken your opponents to get them down to as little health as possible while putting them at a huge disadvantage with things like this. With the nauseating heart, which should make... Well, technically he should be dizzy, but he just can't feel it. Can you, buddy? You can't feel it like I can. Ah, uh, and this hoe is supposed to do something special and I want to show it off later. So, ugh. But in the meantime, just put this on and show what it does. Oh, yes, by the way, when you drop this nauseating heart, it doesn't just give you nausea, it gives you hunger. So your opponent will also start getting starved in the meantime. It's like, ugh, ugh, this soon they won't be able to heal themselves, they won't be able to run, they won't be able to do much of anything. So what you want to do is put on the skull, and it all goes away. It all goes away. 
Nothing. Does jack shit. Still makes the creepy noise, but it does jack shit now. That's the whole point of the the skull, really. Prevents you from getting affected by that sort of thing. And if you can hear it, you're fucked, basically. As long as you're able to hear that sound, you will probably get affected by it. <laughs> it's that simple. Welcome to my vanilla mod creation world, I guess. Yeah, it's filled with a bunch of command blocks. Um, this is the mod, this giant box you see here, which is covered with skulls of all different kinds, which indicate what each row, each vertical row represents of a certain mod. So this is just all the mods jam-packed into one thing, separated by their parts rather than the uh, types of mods classes that they are. This works way better, by the way, than all the other than the other ones. I which is why I really want to get this into a schematic instead of the one command thing. But still, the one command thing is just so cool. Ah, whatever. I'll get better at it in the future. But for now, I'm going to show you what it is these weapons were supposed to do. Shield piercer sword, when you attack someone, it was supposed to do this. Make that effect. Yeah, yeah, just like that. It was supposed to make that cute little effect whenever you attack someone, but because of problems with lag and placement of the command blocks, probably... That's probably the main issue. It doesn't seem to work for some reason. I'm going to try and figure out a way to get all these to work properly, but it's really hard. And really, the only ones with issues are the the tank mod, the paladin mod, and the lich mod. Mostly the lich mod, though. The, the, sh the paladin mod and the tank mod really only had issues when it was the weapon they were using was used to attack. Because they all have something kind of like this, where you just attack and a bunch of noises and effects come out. So let's just kill this guy real quick. Alright, so next up is the Skull Cleaver Axe. This was supposed to be way crazier. It was supposed to do this. Yeah, like that. You're supposed to be feared when you did this shit. And this one's interesting. This one, the Soul Reaper Scythe, was meant to do this. Yes, take my life in exchange for his. <laughs> it leaves players at one heart. So that's like your tactic. You go in, you attack them again. Right after doing that. While use, utilizing the nauseating heart and shit. And hopefully wearing the you know, the appropriate skull and stuff. You, If you wear the entire um, lich outfit, you get this little effect. Similar to the ninjas, but y you you just emanate death. You are death. You are the destruction of everything. You are the bringer of death with the lich mod if it works properly like this. The wither does affect you, the withering effect. Mmm, food. The withering effect does affect you, obviously, but not as much as before. Just go. You take half a heart in exchange for all of the theirs. Goodbye, Mr. Villager. It was nice meeting you. But if I can, I'll try getting this schematic out so you can MC edit it into your own world in a specific area. And it should work. All you would have to do would place a redstone block right behind that particular block there to activate the whole circuit. Same would go for here. So, yeah, that is a thing. And that is the end of this vanilla mod showcase. So, uh, let me know if you guys like this. I'm going to try doing it for a little bit more in the future if it's possible because this stuff is really fun. <laughs> but uh, I have a couple ideas as well and I would really like to hear some suggestions of yours if you happen to have any. So yeah, until next time. I'm RPG Grenade, your host and their player. And I'll see you next time. Isn't that right, 